Hello Taurus, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at the current energies for you in love and a little bit more about how you and this other person are feeling. What are the energies between you? Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Welcome if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. And let's just jump right in for Taurus. Spirit Angels. It's some messages kind of for Taurus regarding love. Keep in mind that uh, these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every single Taurus watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. What guidance messages, insights do you have for Taurus regarding love? Regarding love, Taurus. Need to know. Need to know. Current energies for you in love, King of Swords, Knight of Wands, Justice, Libra energy. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, the Five of Cups, interesting. So, hmm, Eight of Swords after that. So, with the Five of Cups, this is a card about looking back at the past with regrets, um, having disappointments, um, feeling sad. Someone's feeling very overwhelmed because things have not worked out the way that they hoped in a particular connection or just in love, like general. Um, someone's looking back at the past and I'm saying someone because I feel like this is a specific message for someone watching. So it won't resonate for everyone, but I'm getting this very strongly. I feel like someone's looking back at the past wishing they could change certain decisions. Um, this could be your person as well. Their energy could be showing up here in the current energies. So let's get some more insight. Let's get some more insight, Spirit. Let me get some more insight on the energies for Taurus regarding love. Let's get a stellar energy. True love. This connection between you is genuine and true. Um, if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using today, they're all my decks and all of the information is on my website, which is linked in the description box. If you're curious, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Taurus? Sweet dreams. Your dreams are becoming reality. Fantasy, dreams, imagination. Interesting. Taurus, I feel like what this is saying, and I want to get this one too. Time out, time is of the essence. Okay, so what I'm getting here with sweet dreams, true love, the five of cups, all of these energies together is that things will turn around for you. Um, this isn't the end. This isn't it for you. You know, maybe something didn't work out, but that doesn't mean that that's, you know, it's a bad day, not a bad life, that whole mantra. I feel like whatever you've been through is having you kind of think of another future I feel like you you're kind of I don't know it's almost like the past was important for you to move on or to, for you to get into this next chapter and this could be regarding love maybe you learned some lessons in love that you can take now into another connection maybe things didn't work out because of the timing maybe it just wasn't the right time but maybe um, now something could change for you. We'll see when I clarify, because right now I'm just kind of going off of what I see here. Um, the main energies, we have the King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and Justice. So when I see all of these together, I think of someone that wants to come in, take some sort of action, communicate, and have something be fair, balanced, objective with justice. Um, this could be somebody wanting to make things right, but we'll see. Can we get some clarity for Taurus? Um, I feel like the past is relevant for this reading because we have the overall energies, the five of cups. Um, so we'll see if someone feeling, feeling a bit regretful towards you, or if this is just how you're feeling when it comes to love. Like I was saying earlier, I do think that there's someone watching where it's like, I wish I had made different choices because it didn't work out or things. I'm in a situation now where I might be feeling stuck because I have the eight of swords here. Queen of swords is here. Ace of Cups. Okay, tell me about the Five of Cups. This over second. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? 
why is the five of cups here why is the five of cups okay i just got the message that one of you is having dreams about your future partner like maybe this isn't someone that you're talking to you could be talking to them but maybe it's just like the like like a future partner that you meet or something like that okay we have the devil capricorn energy again restriction uh the devil is a card about the choices that you've made that have kept you bound um this is a card about temptations addictions us uh, and, and no matter which path you chose it led to being stuck we have the world at the bottom of the deck so yeah i feel like someone wants to have a new cycle a new beginning here could also be dealing with the capricorn libras here um air energy aquarius libra gemini is here too Tell me about the Five of Cups. What else do we need to know about the Five of Cups? What else do we need to know? Why is the Five of Cups here? Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like something is shifting. Um, eight, eight of Wands, movement, communication, action of some sort. I think this is communication with the Queen of Swords. Let's see, can I get one more for this Eight of Wands? why is the eight of wands here what can you tell me about the eight of wands ten of cups yeah i feel like there's something good coming your way two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck i think some of you there's something that could be coming towards you an opportunity a message something like that that takes you out of this funk um, this could also be your person's energy, you know, maybe they're having regrets over decisions they've made in the past and now they want to come in and communicate in some way. And I say that because the King of Swords is here. So clearly there's something here with communication, open, honest communication, the truth. King of Swords is, um, they get right down to the point. All they care about are the facts. Tell me about the King of Swords. Tell me about the King of Swords. Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to be evaluating whatever this message communication is, Taurus. For some of you, this is the opportunity for new love. It's like you start talking to someone. Strength, maybe a Leo. Yeah, there's King of Swords again. And then the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are meeting someone new. And you're like thinking about what to do um some of you don't know whether to take this serious some of you are wondering if there's a future here i feel like this person's coming in strong uh with the knight of wands maybe things are moving quickly maybe things are very passionate maybe this is someone that is bold enough to approach you to tell you that they're interested in you and i feel like um you're evaluating this or like having doubts about this maybe just trying to weigh your options figure out what it is that you want to do about what you're hearing i still feel like some of you the past is kind of coming back someone that you already know is making you some sort of an offer and you're again evaluating it still still fits tell me about the knight of wands why is the knight of wands here high priestess why is the knight of wands here okay um, i'm getting like out of nowhere a sudden um hmm. tell me about the knight of wands why is the knight of wands here the world yeah this this i feel is coming this is like out of the blue or something did you have a reading like that who was it that had out of the blue well in march you had a very interesting reading hmm yeah, there was like an, um, something was coming in for you, Taurus. Check out your playlist. Yeah, there's the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Check out your playlist because I feel like there there's something big, a shift that's happening for my Taurus collective. Um, whatever this is that's coming in, this Knight of Wands, this could be um, a new suitor. This could be someone that you have been on and off with. I feel like there's something changing there. 
Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Eight of Swords. I feel like, um, yeah, Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You don't know if you want to have this new start. You're having doubts. Some of you are just overthinking. Um, it's almost like Spirit wants you to just take the chance. Um, of course, use your intuition. The High Priestess is here. Listen to your heart, your inner voice. You would, you know, listen to your instincts. If you, if this is someone from the past, you already know who you're dealing with, Taurus. Obviously, Spirit does not want you to be running back into the arms of a full-blown narcissist or someone that doesn't value you. Spirit will never be behind that. Um, I still get the sense of like new energy for a lot of you with the world, the Ace of Cups. It's like this is new. And the Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, it's like taking initiative, going after something new. So I think a lot of you could be meeting someone, maybe online or just talking to someone. And this might be your true love. Like you might be meeting your true love here. Tell me about justice. What can you tell me about justice? Yeah, the Ace of Wands, another Ace. What can you tell me about justice? Whatever this is, it's fair to you. It's balanced. Um, it's a new beginning. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. Tell me about justice. Wow, the Tower. Again, this idea of like unexpected, this theme of unexpected energy. Eight of Pentacles and then the Page of Wands behind that. I feel like this is something that maybe effort has been put in to set you up for this. So, for example, maybe you've been working towards a new career and you've been studying and you apply for a job and this comes in for you. Um, maybe you've been working on yourself, um, self-care, uh, counseling, mentorships. Um, maybe even uh, religious or spiritual guidance and it's improved your mental health or the way that you look maybe you've gotten back into exercising you know you you worked put some sort of effort into yourself your mindset and I think it's bringing about something like drastically different and it it's happening you know timing is very important we have time out here it's like you've waited for this, worked for this, you know, you've taken your time. I can get one more for justice. I can get one more. I think that was the nine, nine of cups. Tell me about justice. What do we need to know about justice? Nine of pentacles. Okay, doing very well for yourself. Again, exactly that energy that I was talking about. If there's any card in the tarot that's about self-care... You're looking at it right there. Nine of Pentacles, very attractive, very successful. They've put in the work. They're reaping all of the benefits and looking good while doing it. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Again, I feel like this is setting you up for, you know, it's like stability. Um, a, new, a new cycle. Tell me more about the energies between Taurus and this person. They have are or will be dealing with energies between Taurus and this other person. Taurus, I'm going to have your energies on one side, your person's energies on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you, Taurus and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about Taurus and this other person? Taurus, if at any time this reading resonates for you, if you enjoy how I read, consider hitting that like button, subscribing if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. It really helps out the channel a lot and it's a free way of, of just supporting what I do. Interesting. So on your side here, I have the King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. Again, Taurus, I feel like you're doing very well for yourself. I feel like career finances investments etc this is very important for you right now i think other people are noticing this with the three of cups i don't know if you've been 
hanging out with people, meeting friends of friends, networking, um, hanging out with coworkers. I see you in a social setting. Some of you, this isn't uh, a particular person that you're coming into contact with, this King of Pentacles. Um, if you're not the one that's into career and finance, this person is. So they're doing very well for themselves, very stable. Um, and you know, you, you're into this because I have the Queen of Pentacles here too. So it's like you're mirroring each other. You see the same values, the same, maybe you have a lot in common with this person. Some of you, this is a boss. Okay, I'm hearing, <laughs> be careful with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. I'm just, don't shoot the messenger. Okay. And then on their side, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. So again, this theme of um, like attracts like, uh, soulmates. Um, you're on the same page. True love, you know, that you're, you're, you're really... Um, mirroring each other let's get some more insight here actually what do I want? I'm going okay I'm gonna get a kipper I was gonna get a secret moon this is not my deck but I was gonna get one of my own decks but they're telling me this one okay can I get some more insight into this uh, energy between Okay. Unexpected income. Okay, again with the unexpected. Unexpected opportunity. Unexpected offer. We have courthouse at the bottom of the deck. So it's making me think of um, justice. Okay. All right. So they want me to get a stellar rainbow for them. Tell me about this other person. And of course, Taurus, you can flip this energy, but... For the sake of this reading, this is your person's energy for me here. The Queen of Pentacles, the lovers. Tell me about this person. Tell me about this person. Taurus's house. Or we'll be dealing with. Tell me about this person. Fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is someone that could be a fire sign, literally. Or is exhibiting... Um, uh, the traits of a fire sign so impulsive active passionate creative on bottom of the deck i have aries emperor energy okay tell me about taurus tell me about the energies that taurus is bringing to this connection i don't know if i should be using this deck but we're gonna go for it tell me about the energy honest sincere and genuine interesting so taurus i'm getting this person appeals to you yeah there's happy at the bottom of the deck bright and cheerful i have the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck here so this person is very honest i feel or you're being very honest with them maybe they are i don't know maybe th for some reason i'm getting this energy of they bring out this uh honest energy from you so i don't know if you're being very honest with a boss or someone you work with or while you're interviewing or something and it works out or if you're being really honest with someone you're talking to but for some reason they are liking it this is very fiery passionate energy that I'm getting here with fire signs so it's almost like they are attracted to that or they are responding well to that tell me about the king of Pentacles Okay, Seven of Cups. Again, you th you're thinking, evaluating, weighing your options. Tell me about the King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. Whatever offer you're getting, you're going to be evaluating it, thinking about it. It's almost like you're wondering what's the catch. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Lovers. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. And the lovers. Two of swords, okay. Tell me about the queen of pentacles and the lovers. Wow, the chariot, cancer energy. King of swords at the bottom of the deck. Again, there's something here with information, a conversation, a, an important truth. I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with 
they are very motivated. They know what they want. But the Two of Swords is telling me almost like their hands are, are tied. So it's like they're waiting on you to make your decision. This person. I, I see you evaluating it. You're really considering it. I feel like you keep maybe asking questions or trying to get to the bottom of something or trying to understand something before you accept it. I still feel like for some of you, this is a job offer. Others of you, this is a reconnection opportunity. Like someone wants to reconnect. And then others of you, I'm getting like, this is new love. You know, I see it all on the board. And it's unexpected. It's an unexpected um, opportunity that leads to something great. Um, because I have the Ace of Wands. I have the Ace of Cups. It's very fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling, wherever you're headed. It's like your dreams are becoming reality, literally. And it's great. I love that for you. I'm going to take this to the extended now. I'm going to look at the future energies for you. And then we're also going to look a little bit closer at your person, the person that you might be dealing with. Um, what are the intentions, actions, energies there that you need to know about? So if you're curious about that, Taurus, then check out the extended is linked in the description box.